Our first guest is a man of multiple talents who stars opposite Timothy Chalamet in the new family musical Wonka. It is in theaters starting Friday. Please welcome Keegan Michael Key. <laughs> I uh, had the pleasure of seeing you on Sunday at yes. a, a memorial type event for Norman Lear. For Norman Lear, yes, the great Norman Lear. He will be missed. I love that you were friends with Norman. Yeah, yeah. How did that? How did you initially meet him? I initially met Norman at a award ceremony. There was some some TV Land was doing some icon award ceremony, and they were giving a lifetime achievement award to. Uh, to Norman, and I remember he he met L. L's my wife. L, your and wife, L. Yeah. L. And they were and they were talking with each other and having a good time and talking about being Jewish and how Jewish jokes work and everything like that. And at the end, he invited us to the house and he he was like, "Well, I want to see you again, and you should come over sometime. Bring the Jew." <laughs> <laughs> Which was like perfect, Norman. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And thank you, by the way, for playing our um, differently abled Santa Claus yes. of yes. color. It was. <laughs> I think mean, Norman I, I, would have enjoyed that. I, yeah. I, I, Norman would have really enjoyed that. Yes, yes. It was the role of my life, of a lifetime for have me. Have you yes. played Santa before? Was that your first uh, Santa-ing? Uh, that was my, I think, was that my first Santa-ing? I think, I, I, I'm trying to think if I played Santa maybe once on Mad TV or something a long I see. time okay, ago. Yeah, pro maybe. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Just the regular gay, uh, black Santa, not the gay black Santa. This was, <laughs> this was a step up, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Who knows what's next? Who knows what's right, exactly. <laughs> you, um, how's your holiday shopping going? Uh, are you, I mean, like, are you guys doing Hanukkah, like, all the presents? We're doing, we're, we're doing, we're doing, we're do, let's say, we're doing all the lights. We're okay. doing all the lights, but we're not, uh, we're not uh, doing the That's for the kids. That's for the, that's for the right. kids, right? right? Yeah, and so, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we've got, we've got nephews that we have to catch up on, yeah. You do, okay. Yes, right, we, yeah. yeah, so we still got gifts that we've got. Oh, does that apply to, and not just your own kids, but it, all the kids in the family each get a separately wrapped item Those eight <laughs> times? <laughs> yeah, right, that's a lot. I should open my own store, yeah. It's, like, you I should think, open a store. Hanukkah, Hanukkah Harry's workshop, as opposed <laughs> to Santa's workshop. Uh, you and your wife, Elle, who you just mentioned, came. you uh, put out a book this year. Yes. And really good. I mean, it's the history of sketch comedy. Um, I know that you've talked a lot about the book, but uh, I really enjoyed it. And is it appropriate for you to give the book out as a gift for the holidays? Well, you or? know, what's been interesting about the book is, is, is uh, if, you, if you have a good book, then people, they request it. They, I see. They, they want the book, and they want, it, they want it signed and personalized and stuff like that. So we've been OK. The, That's know, a nice detail. I feel they should buy the book first, and then <laughs> you can sign, sign it as it. Right, your gift. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you're in that book. Jimmy. I know I'm in the book, You're yeah. in the book, because uh, it was, it was uh, Elle, I remember when she was thinking about your feud with Matt Damon. Yeah. She was thinking about that it was, it, it reminded her of the feud between Jack Benny and Fred Allen, who were, uh, you know, Jack Benny was a comedian from the 40s and 50s, and he had a, he had a feud, it was a clapper. There's somebody, yeah. there's, there's was somebody here who's 97 years old. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that, no, I, that, I, I have to say, I did not know about that, and I was very flattered to be uh, put in that category. Right, right. Um, the difference is Matt Damon's not funny, so I don't know that, <laughs> that he belongs in it, but I graciously, I graciously know. accept. Yeah, they had like a long running feud. They had a thing. long running feud. Yeah, Fred Allen started it talking, he was the guy that started talking about Jack Benny being cheap and stingy, and instead of Jack Benny going, instead of Jack Benny saying, no, that's not me, I'm not like that. Instead of doing that, he went the opposite way, and he wrote, remember he wrote that joke about being cheap, about, about uh, the guy, your money or your life. You know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it is great, yeah. And uh, well, yeah, that, uh, thank you for including me. Yeah. Whenever I get a book, I do, I go to the back, and I look for my name, and if I'm not in it, I throw it right in the garden. <laughs> Uh, congratulations on your um, Detroit Lions. I know. Right How about the Lions, right? Detroit? Detroit? Your passion. I'm and just, also... just, just going to vibe with this, this girl right here because they got a Detroiter out there. Yeah. And also, you deserve a little joy after being a Lions fan because it's been so, it's so, been so, so long. It's been so long. I think right now we have the best record we've had in 60 years. 60, 60 years. years. Yes. 
Oh, wow. How, what year did, were the Lions established? The, 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 1930. <laughs> nine and four, right? Yeah, they're nine and four right now, nine yeah. So the, the, which, is, which is really hard for me to accept. I'm having a hard time just dealing with like, it. It's a Sunday. And we could win. <laughs> we might actually win this game. And then they keep winning games, and I'm not even sure what to do with it. Yeah. You've been going to some of these games, I've right? I've been going to the games recently. Yeah, we went to a game. We went to a game a couple of years ago, and L made this plan to go to this game in Minnesota. And uh, we were going to go watch them play the Vikings. And they, we found out that Barry Sanders was going to be at the game. Barry oh. Sanders is my hero. I like, bet. Straight up my hero. Sure. Barry Sanders, right. One of the greatest running backs of all time. Absolutely. And absolutely my hero. And she found out that he was going to be at the game. And so she was like, everybody, please don't, don't tell Keegan. Let it be a surprise to Keegan. Just let, let him. So we, we land. We get there. Everybody's being quiet. Mum's the word. I'm on the sidelines. And Barry Sanders is like 15 steps away from me. And he's walking toward me, and somebody just gets right in front of my face and goes, Hey, King, you know, Barry Sanders is here today. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's just like right as, he, no, right, no. right as he came up, right as he came up. Did you clench up? Did you choke? How did you handle I, it? I, didn't, I, didn't, I did not handle it well. You didn't? I, I didn't handle it well. What I did is I, I, I was like, first of all, there was like this weird, I'm like Mr. Overfamiliarity. I'm just like, hey, <laughs> there he is. What's going on? And then you do the Roman centurion hug where you kind of go in for the... You go in for the for this, yeah, and then you oh, and then, then you connect, this, yeah, and you don't know what to do with this, yeah. and so you're going like, and then I and then I let go of the arm and I went in for the hug, hug. Oh yeah, like the full, right, the full hug, and then I held on. Way too long. Oh really? <laughs> Way too long. And Barry was a great sport about okay, it. Well, I feel like if anybody could break out of that hug, it's, it's Barry, Barry Sanders. Sanders so right? he probably was okay with but it. Then I, but then, Jimmy, I've got to sit with him for the rest of the game. You know what I mean? It's That's funny. Like, Isn't that weird? Like, there's a guy that, like, if somebody told you when you were a kid, like, you would sit with Barry Sanders for the entirety of a game, you'd be like, oh, my God, I can't wait for this to happen. Right. And then when it happens, you're like, this is very tense. I just need to get out of here and tell my friends I saw him. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is entirely too much for me. Right. Did you make chit-chat with Barry? We did. I did remember, um, you know, he's a very, he's a very staid guy, which is, ni which is nice. He's, he's very low-key, which is the opposite of how he was. He was dynamite on the field. Yeah. But in real life, he's really, really low-key, and we, we did chit-chat. But he watches football the way any regular person watches football. Like, if the defense is coming in for a sack, he's like, get there, get there. Get there, get there, you know? And, you're, and I'm like, oh, that's what I do. I, I do the same thing when I'm, you know, he's- it, Did you he, ask him why he retired? Why he left without explanation? I didn't. I thought it would be too sore of a subject. And now-, and now But it wasn't, but it was totally his decision. It, right, that's true. I mean, yeah. it, it, but it's just that it was at the height of his power. It's one of the great mysteries in sports. He's well, like, yeah. yeah, okay, I did it, I'm done. Yeah. Because he could have broken every record Every single record. To. And, and to, I think to a point where nobody would have caught him. You, you know what I mean? But then he just let that record sit there, and he and he and you like you said, went out on his own terms. And I guess that's the best. That's the most baller thing you can do. What happens if the Lions go to the Super Bowl? Will you go? I'm sorry. The what? <laughs> <laughs> so the, you know what? If the I, Lions are at the Super Bowl, yeah. If yeah. the Lions are at the Super Bowl, sitting in the stands, no, no, no. The game. Like they're invited to be on the field to compete against the other team. I don't think I understand what you're saying. <laughs> to me. I'll, I'll explain, as it, explain as it gets closer. explain as it gets closer. But I would like—I know you do a lot of great impressions, and I wonder have, if you've ever done an impression of yourself. Because what I would love to see is an impression, you doing an impression of yourself <laughs> watching the Lions win the Super Bowl. Oh, an okay, an impression of me watching the Lions win the Super Bowl. Yes. Okay. All right. I have to prepare. Okay, yeah. <laughs> because this You're is not, not dressed right, but I, people I'm can dressed, imagine. Here yeah. we go. Mm. <laughs> And we're going to get some medical attention. Keegan Michael Key is here. We'll be right back. This is about Abigail. I got a message for you, pal. Whoa! Do not sell chocolate in this town! You got it? I have water in my ears. Oh. Yeah. That... Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I, I'm all out of whack. Truth is, 
I don't want to be doing this. I don't want you to be doing this. But I still got to give you a message. Sell chocolate in this town again, you're going to get more than a bonk on the head. I don't have a bonk on the head. What is with me today? That is Keegan Michael Key and Timothy Chalamet and Wonka, which um, I watched it with my kids on Sunday, yeah. and we loved it. We really, they went crazy for it. Oh, they did. That's so we good. We really to hear. enjoyed it, and yeah. I enjoyed your accent. Your choice of accent for uh, a cop who's in London. I know. Was a New York cop. I know. I I, I told. <laughs> I told the director, I said, I can do a British accent. If you'd like me to do a British accent, I can do it. Of course you can. can. Like, you know, if, if you want me to be British, I can do it. I can be British. And he was like, no, no, let's, let's, let's go with something more, you know, copish. He, want, he, wanted, so he, want, he, wanted, he didn't want him to be a police officer. He wanted him to be a cop. And so we decided to go with this kind of Brooklyn-y thing, you know, over there, sound more like that, even though I don't sound like anybody else in a movie. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> It's very good, though. I mean, it really is. I'm usually very critical of a Brooklyn accent, but yeah. you got it right. You nailed it oh, nicely. Right. Thank yeah, you, buddy. you really yeah. did. Yeah. Are you working on any other impressions right now? Are you? you well, have... I have been working on another British impression, which is oh. been, because we've been doing press for the movie for Wonka. I have been working on uh, uh, my Hugh Grant. Oh, you have? <laughs> yes, yes. I like it in the film when Hugh Grant says, "I would, uh, I will have you know that I am perfectly." respectable size for Oompa Loompa. <laughs> there's, there's something very posh about the way he speaks. And I love when he says, oh, 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 I'm starting to dance now. And once we start, we can't stop. You, know, you guys have seen that in the trailer. So there's... A... That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm doing my best. Has he, has he heard this? Have you done he's, this he's for him? He's heard it. He's heard, he's heard me do it. And I believe what he said to me was that I sound like him having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you just sound like him, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What else? Any others? You got any um, other new ones? Well, you know, the, no, I, you know, I, my, one of my favorites I always like to pull out. One time years ago, I did a radio show or like a podcast with Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. And 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 I, uh, he was playing a game with me. And on the game, what what, what it was is was the name that he was he was giving me names of athletes, and the name was either going to be a name like from the East West Bowl from Key and Peel, or a real athlete's name. I see. Yeah, right? and I had, I had to guess which one it was. And at one point in time, there was a, he, he really stumped me with a name, really big time. And there was a huge long pause. And in the pause, Shaq goes, he goes, hey, Key, <laughs> don't be Googling. <laughs> don't, 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 be on, don't, don't be on the Google. <laughs> you can't be Googling, Key. You got to guess the answer if you don't answer. So. That's real good. Right, so. That's nice. Hey, something I learned in the book is that you uh, were, when you were a young man, yeah. uh, maybe just a kid, actually, you worked at a Renaissance Festival. Yes. Not a fair, a festival. A festival, right. What is the difference between a fair and oh, a festival? Fest a, a festival, it's more fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, fairs are good. Fairs are good, but yeah, it's they're always... fair. It's, 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 it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> They're fair. They're fair. Yeah, yeah. But you always want to go to a festival because you're having fun. Yeah. Exactly. And you did. Uh, what I, a, everybody does an English accent at those things, right? Well, sometimes some people do like just an anachronistic accents, which is just I kind of just did my own regular Michigan accent at the time. Oh, you did. And, yeah. And, and my friend, that you have a picture here. Yeah, I got a picture That's here. A picture of me with uh, with some of the guys that I did that I did. My, we did a sword fighting comedy show. So it was like jumping off of cliffs and swinging around and sword fighting and telling jokes, and it was really, really fun. Yeah, was it fun? And it you was. did it every day? I did it, I did it, I, I did it every day. Like I did Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, you know what I mean? And then like around Labor Day, around the summertime. Don't people get drunk and become abusive at those things? They do. They do. Yeah. They, they get really, really drunk. There's nothing, there's nothing like drinking mead. Yeah, you know mead and grog. Drinking mead and grog in the middle of summer. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, there was this crazy thing that happened at our festival where they used to sell like wooden swords for kids, which was already not a great idea. <laughs> and then somebody had, some Rhodes Scholar had the brilliant idea that what we should do is sell regular swords, <laughs> like metal swords. <laughs> And let's, we, let's let the people gallivant around the festival with their swords <laughs> while we're also selling open alcohol. <laughs> so that lasted two days. Is that right? <laughs> Which was one day too long, yeah. yeah. Was, what happened? Was there a beheading? There was, 
<laughs> it was, I, I have no idea. Nobody ever, I never got clued in as to what the lowdown was, but apparently there must have been some. One of the there. great things about a, a sword is that you get free parking. Yes, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your ticket? No, you may no, not. No, you may not. I have a sword. <laughs> right. Well, it's great to see you. Congratulations on, some, on the movie. It's great. It's called Wonka. It opens in theaters Friday. The great Keegan-Michael Key, everybody. Thank you, Keegan. We'll be right back with Charles Moulton.